Hey, I'm back with my air fryer and today I'm going to give it a go at making some vegetarian scotch eggs in the air fryer. I've already done this in the oven and they were great uh, so let's see how it goes in the air fryer. So I'll show you what I've prepared so far. So I have my sausage mix and what I've done, I've, I've half the original recipe. So we've got four corn sausages in there. I put defrosted them because they were frozen. Obviously you don't need to do that with fresh. And I put them into the food processor, blitzed them about, put in 50 grams of wholemeal breadcrumbs and one egg yolk and I blitzed it again and this has been in the fridge for half an hour so what we need to do is take some cling film flatten that out take half the mixture like that make it into a ball and then flatten it out into a circle that should be enough and then I have got a soft boiled egg uh, so it was in from boiling for four and a half minutes and then I'm gonna wrap the sausage around the egg And then you need to seal the seams of the sausage just by pinching it together. But be careful because the egg is soft boiled. Right, once that's done, with the rest of the egg white and one egg, uh, you're going to dip the sausage ball in. And then, take another 50 grams of breadcrumbs, put the ball in and roll it around in the crumbs. And that is it so what I'm going to do with the rest of this is I'm actually going to make some mini scotch eggs so with another egg I've hard boiled it and mashed it up and I'm going to bring back the cling film and I'm going to use a quarter of the mix that's left And flatten this out again into a circle. Add some of the egg. and then roll it up okay make sure it's completely sealed and again into the egg
and into the breadcrumbs. And there you have a mini one. So I'm going to finish these and then we'll move on to the air fryer. Right, so I have done the balls. So we've got one big one with a whole egg in and four with mashed up egg. Um, so I've preheated the air fryer at 200 degrees. And we're going to get this out and we're going to gently place all of the balls inside. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and so we're going to keep cooking at 200 degrees and I'll let you know for how long. Okay, so that's been three minutes and the little ones are already starting to brown so let's turn them over careful not to touch the air fryer there we go and leave the big one and we'll go back in right so that's been six minutes and I think the little ones should be done. Let's turn the big one over. And then let's get the little ones out. And the big one's going to go back in for another six minutes. But there's the little ones. Right, so that's been another six minutes for the big one and that looks done to me so let's get this out and there you have it so We have 12 minutes turning halfway through for the big one and 6 minutes halfway through for the little ones. Right then, let's see if we can get this open. I've never managed to do it before and make it runny so let's see if today is the day. Oh, there you have it, a runny scotch egg. Yay, first time. And let's just get one of these little ones open as well for comparison. And there you go. yummy so thanks for watching me make this um if you've enjoyed it uh, if you subscribe and check out what else i've been doing in the air fryer and i also do other vegetarian recipes with pasta and potato and things like that so check it out and i'll see you soon bye